time to check in on the latest buzz in the entertainment world. Yes, Liz and Mike from What Up Everyone Buzz joining us live right now. Good morning. Morning. Morning, guys. Good morning. Okay, well, so if, under the sea. if Sebastian uh, doesn't give it away, yes, we have to talk about the new Little Mermaid trailer. All kinds of new Disney uh, news dropping this weekend at the D23 Expo. But <laughs> yeah, new trailer out for Little Mermaid, and it looks really good. It looks amazing. I'm super excited for it. Like you said, all these Disney movie trailers, they dropped over the weekend. This one's probably had the most buzz on social media. It looks fabulous and fantastic. Uh, and I'm not trying to like give anything away or tell people to do anything illegal, but apparently at the convention, they showed a longer piece of the song, not just this quick little snippet at the end of her singing. And it got leaked on TikTok and it is fabulous. So oh. when you see him in four, you're like, oh, girl can sing. And it's Halle Bailey. And so many people are getting mad and getting her confused with Halle Berry that Halle Berry had to tweet out, hey guys, wrong person. I'm not trying to play the little girl, but excited <laughs> to see it. That's funny. I yeah. When you, at first you were like, you know, don't don't know spoilers. I was like, I think we know how the movie ends. But it, it's still, <laughs> yeah. still, still exciting to still exciting to see. I will say, uh, on a little bit of a tangent here, best karaoke performance I've ever seen was to uh, the Unfortunate Souls. Or, unfortunate oh souls, my yeah. gosh, that was if if I'm you're out glad. there listening, the person who sang that song in karaoke. I bless you. <laughs> you, you. I brought the house down. Brought the house down. So Little if you're looking Red for karaoke suggestions, great music. Boy. Um, they've got some new songs in this new uh, iteration with Lin Manuel Miranda. Mm. So as if it couldn't get any better. I mean, oh my gosh, I'm just, I'm so excited for this one. <laughs> Four. Yeah. Four new songs that she's gonna sing. I'm so excited. We haven't heard wow. them. It hasn't like, done the soundtrack yet. Whatever, but it's gonna be good. That's, yeah, that's you, exciting. You think back to the cartoons, The Little Mermaid was probably that first of that whole series of Disney movies that came out with amazing soundtracks, started to get radio play. You know, after that, it was Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, Lion King, so on and so on. Yeah. So it's just, it's cool to see all these films coming to a live action release. It, bring, it just gives you all the nostalgia. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Target, targeting the, the older Disney millennials now, uh -huh. and now, and now they're kids. Take my money. Well, yeah, speaking of new will. Disney movies, we've also got a Mufasa origin story coming. Which I am excited for, but not excited for. It's going to be live action, and it is a prequel to The Lion King that we know. It talks about Mufasa, how he came to be king, his relationship with Scar, which sounds great. But I wasn't the biggest fan of the live action Lion King because I just felt like I was watching Animal Planet. Yeah, so uh, same. It was almost, you talk about these live action remakes, it was too almost realistic. too realistic <laughs> that it kind of lost some of the Disney magic, I felt like. Yeah, but the person that they have directing this is super successful, has won Oscars for the, the movie Moonlight. Like, there's a lot of stuff going into it. Wow. It's the person, I think Mike said earlier, that directed the new live action Pinocchio. So yeah. they're investing a lot in it. So hopefully they give him a little bit more of a cartoony face so that I don't get... I don't get bored. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, I didn't sign up for National Ge Geographic. What right. is this? Right. What is this? Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. fascinating. I, I, I'm pumped for this. I'm surprised it's taken this long for us to get the Mufasa origin story. I mean, they gave us Lion King 2, two and a half. Timon and Pumbaa got a spinoff. And <laughs> by the way, they did confirm that Seth Rogen and Billy Eichner will be back for this yes. Mufasa movie okay, as good. Timon and Pumbaa. Oh, I, did, I did love them voicing that I role. never saw the live action uh, Lion it's, King. It's worth so. a watch, but yeah, not my fave. Yeah, now I'll, I'll, have to, I'll have to dip into it. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, speaking of other movie creations or recreations, uh, we've all talked about this before, so excited. Hocus Pocus 2, uh, I mean, all these years later Sisters. to bring it back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we've now, we've seen a little bit of a trailer. We've got the full trailer now. We know that the witches get their magic at the age of 16 now. And in present time, that's who ends up lighting the candle. Uh, what I'm most excited about, though, is Kathy and Jimmy's character, like back in the original, when she couldn't find a broom, she wrote a vacuum. <laughs> and in this trailer, they show her riding Roombas. One for each foot to just fly on. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> That's hysterical. I love oh that. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. I'm, I'm so excited for this. I've had it on my calendar since the beginning of the summer. September 30th, Focus yeah. Focus 2 premiere. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be the, the perfect way to usher in Halloween. And I mean, you'd think back to the original Hocus Pocus. 
the main underlying premise was the witches trying to deal with technology of the 90s. Think about having to deal with technology of 2022. Oh <laughs> yeah. I could barely deal with that. As right? I'm scrolling through the, the TikToks, they're oh. going to be all confused. <laughs> Can't oh, relate. Man. No, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. They, they got everybody from the original cast back together and some new people, and it's going to be a new continuation of the story. Yeah. I, oh, It'll be yes, fun. It's, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. So many fun <laughs> Disney things. I'm all excited. All right. Thanks, you guys. Have a good one. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye, friends. Take care, guys. Bye. Yeah, and don't forget, you can listen to Liz and Mike every weekday morning on 105.1 The Buzz. So, so, so many movies for you to watch this mm -hmm. fall. <laughs> all right.